All right, hello world, internet land. Uh, Taylor with the Visual Collective here, also known as Senior Fotografia. Today we're doing a little DIY project for your speed lights. I love these things. They're tiny, compact, and portable. Little, uh, you know, on-camera flashes, like using off-camera, uh, but there's kind of a lack of modifiers unless you want to start spending big bucks, and I don't got big bucks. I got like $15. So if you take that, why not make a beauty dish, for example? A great modifier, this little thing is a headshot machine. It's amazing, totally nice, super cheap, easy to make. All you need, I guess, speed light, obviously one. Um, you know these things that CDs come in? They come like 50, you need a 50 pack of these things. They unscrew like this, you need one of these. And those little blank CDs that come in them, a few of those too. Uh, and there's a few other supplies we need, but we gotta go to the Home Depot to get those. So once you're inside, the first thing you gotta do is go to the home and garden center. Where, like, look around, they got all the plants and stuff like that, right? And you wanna go over here and you wanna find the potting bowls. They've got a whole assortment of every kind of bowl you could possibly imagine. What we want for ours is the 14 inch terracotta bowl. It says it right on the back 14 inch terra bowl. Let's get a dry one. <laughs> 438, cheap. So, what you need is one of these few things. It's called a plastic C outlet. It's got like this. It's got some little holes drilled in it. Just like that. 235. It's cheap. Okay, so we just got out of the store. We've got our drain spout and our planter bowl. You've already got the 50 CD spool, so all we need now is to go to the auto parts store and get a convex mirror. Uh, to go on the inside as a reflector, so. Next stop. Okay, so now you need a convex mirror. For those of you that remember your skateboards, concave goes in, the concave in your skateboard, convex is the other way, the outside, right? So this is like the kind of thing, it's like all wide angle and crazy. Ooh. They have big ones and little ones. You need one that'll fit inside the diameter of a CD, which is five inches. This one's like four and three quarters, perfect. All right, so uh, all the parts are together. We've got everything we need, uh, which was the 14 inch terracotta bowl. 50 spool of CDs, blank CDs, empty. Some of those uh, blank plastic ones that come in, the, come in those spools to protect the CDs, you need a few of those. Downspout piece called the C spout or something like that from the Home Depot. Four and a half inch convex mirror. A really sharp X-Acto knife. A sharpie, steel ruler, Velcro strapping, drill, pop rivet gun. Good stuff. Okay, so then you have to cut the same sized hole as you did in the back of your bowl into the uh, black part of the CD spool. So I measured it all off, and again, with extreme caution, you're gonna cut it again. This plastic's a little harder, hopefully it won't chip on you. So once you got these two pieces attached, use your pop rivet gun. And it's attached. You know you did it right. <clears throat> If you can screw the thing on, and it looks like this. Your next step is uh, to make your reflector. Take a couple of these and paint them black. You want to like hang these things up from somewhere. Your favorite tree, it's about to all the good for. Hanging stuff. Don't do that, hang it up and paint them black. And while those dry, we can uh, go back in and finish the assembly on the rest of the beauty bowl. Once you've uh, spray painted your discs, uh, glue them together with some kind of epoxy of some type with a shiny disc on the other side, light proof, light reflection. Take your convex mirror, pull off the sticky back, and to the sticky side, right here to the shiny part, like that, right in the middle. Stick it on there real good. And you've got your reflector. Your next step's gonna be to take and epoxy it into your CD case, like this. Also, you're gonna take your flash holding assembly and epoxy it inside your dish. Like this. If it's sticking out the back side like that, you know you did it right. I like five minute epoxy. You could use Gorilla Glue, Super Glue. If you have long enough rivets, you could rivet this thing right here. Whatever you can do, just make it stick and make it good. S 
smear it all up in there. Oh yeah. Leave that to set. Okay, so just stick a whole bunch of that down in the bottom there. And you only get one shot at this pretty much, so don't, you know, like mess it up. Stick your piece down in the bottom of the bowl there. Some good clamping pressure. And wait a little while, like five minutes. If later you want to, it's good to, you can fill in these cracks down here and here with more glue or some Gorilla Glue, whatever you got. Just jam it in there. You can't use it too much. It's impossible. So when you're gonna spray paint your beauty dish, don't do it on the sidewalk like this. It'll piss off your landlord. Use a piece of cardboard or something. Paved newspaper, hang it from a tree. We're gonna go behind my neighbor's house. They'll never know or care. Okay. So we've got all our principal parts of the beauty dish, this and this. You're gonna paint the inside and the top of the reflector here uh, a nice uh, reflective white color, although you could experiment with gold or silver. Step one, you wanna mask off the clear, the clear plastic here. Since this is where the light's gonna come through, we don't want it to get all fogged with spray paint, so uh, mask it off with something just to help some of that overspray. So that's like pretty good. And uh, spray paint away. That's pretty good. Let that dry and get the inside of your dish. A couple of light coats is sometimes better than a one big heavy one, so. Uh, the outside still looks like shit, so you wanna paint it black. It makes it look really slick and professional. And you can tell your paying clients that it's an expensive piece of German engineering, not a terracotta bowl from Home Depot. And if you put it flat like this, you're gonna get a nice edge, well, a pretty nice edge. Voila. Okay, so you've got your beauty dish all painted and uh, reassembled. The only final step is to uh, make a way for it to mount to your camera. So since um, I know all of you DIY and off-camera flash people already have Velcro attached to your uh, camera, the soft side on your camera here, little strap, good for gels, good for modifiers, all kinds of good stuff. You're gonna have some of this stuff laying around. What we do is take a big old couple pieces of it. You wanna grab the rough side of the Velcro, cut a couple strips, and stick them to the sides of your beauty dish. Right on the outside here. Next step, is measure off a piece of the soft side to fit around your flash and hold it into place. So, fit your flash down to the beauty dish there, like that. Start on one side with the stuff, the Velcro, and pull it around tight to the other side. And that's your uh, strap right there, and finished beauty dish.